thousand years we rangers have searched for a sign. Our eyes and ears have remained open. A trace of the disappearance of the mortal kings of the north. Little did I think I would be the first to discover a greater clue than one seen in many centuries. In the latter half of the second reign of the Tribal Judges, my journey as a ranger took me to the North Country. After arduous events which remaining mystery will conceal for some time, upon the ice-borne ruins on the ancient lakes of Hardenfell, a small detail found in a remnant of the Chronicles of Kaoman has led me to a place I never imagined in my darkest dreams. The only title or name I could confirm was that of Desdegado, which translates to the Disinherited. What follows is what I could decipher from this majestic volume. Scott Peak, a sword had been thrust deep into the earth. It was the sword of a king left to rot and rust by those who despised his reign and his rule. Atop this battered hill, the king's sword flowed dark with color, for it was still drenched in his own blood. Des Dicado, disinherited, left to die on this freezing rock, his bowed precipice where eagles, mountain goats, and now kings breathe their last. Till he shuffles off this mortal coil, mercy allows his royal life to dissipate like the grey fog from this morning. Behold the glittering beauty of ice and frost. They shine with the hibernal bite of death. Eternity gleefully thrusts its cold fingers deep in his majesty's final throne.
drink his royal blood and tear the meat from his kingly bones. It began with the burning of Shea Castle in the mountains of Ardaran. The majesty of his kingdom and his rule could not have been paralleled. His eyes saw rain from the giant desert of Kushara to the shores of the Great Green Sea. After banishing him, the armies of the crow that devastated the land and left us believed and destitute placed his helm on the bridge of Kaemin. It was a taunt. A lesson, they said. They dared our subjugated peoples to claim the helm and search for their king. For thousands of years, heroes, legends, and even successive kings searched for him. But none who left have ever returned. The reign of Desdicado was reduced to nothing. And naught but storms and ghosts now dwell in the places that knew his glory. Once he commanded legions and courted noblemen and princes, and now he cannot move, he can hardly see. His numbing mind grasps at what thin remaining straws of life remain. His wife and children, his closest friends, are dead or gone. All loving thoughts of him are frozen with the dead. The world that he knew will never be the same. His people who quickly forgot cry with glee at a new era of bondage. They say the years he ruled were those of the locust. Let us reclaim them. His body will dry in this rock, and the dead leaves and the carcasses of the beasts will blend with his bones to the annals of history. Reduce him to a bit of rubble in days gone by, till he is remembered no more.